In this video, I am going to show you how to make a free Minecraft server using Squid Servers. So, let's get started. To begin, simply go to your web browser, and I will have links in the description if you need them. But here, go to your search bar and search up Squid Servers Minecraft, like so. So, Squid Servers Minecraft, enter, and here you'll find squidservers.com, squid servers here, click the link and this will bring you to this website here. So here all you have to do is simply go ahead and click on download squid servers here and it will show up with this download page. Now simply go ahead and choose if you have Windows, Mac OS or Linux. I will choose Windows in this case so just click download and here just find the download link here you might have to scroll down and click on download right here. Okay, so once you have squid servers right here, what you have to do is make sure you have Java for Windows for example, because this will require Java to run, not the actual application but the Minecraft server. So for example, if you want to have Java for Windows, what you want to do is go to a new tab, go to your search bar and search up JDK25, enter, you'll find a website called Oracle.com, Java Downloads, click on this link, it'll bring you here, go to accept all, here scroll down, go to JDK25, Windows if you're using Windows, and this installer here, x64 installer, with this link here, simply go ahead and click it to download and install the application, then you'll have Java to run the server inside this. You might already have Java, but if this doesn't work for some reason, this is probably your issue, okay? So once you have everything here, you can close or minimize your web browser. I'll minimize mine, and from there, you will want to go to your file explorer to access your downloads folder. Now you will see Squid Servers. So here, simply double click the application, and you might have a Windows protected your device thing. Just click on more info, then click run anyway. And there you go. It will now do the setup here. So here it's gonna go ahead and install all the required files for squid servers. And at some point we will have this window here. So here there's a few things to note and it is very easy to understand. Number one, we have our manage tunnels. This will have more tunnels when we are actually gonna have a server. This actually lets you go ahead and port forward a server without port forwarding it. So you don't have to play with your modem or anything, it will just use this playit.gg to actually host your server worldwide. So that is the first thing. Now, if you want to make a Minecraft server here, you will want to go on create your first server. Here, you can choose a couple things. Here we have our Java here. Apparently it is given by Squid servers, but if you want to use other Java versions, you can click this and choose the other Java versions that you might want, or just find Java manually, and this will be the downloaded versions from the previous JDK website we were on. So in this case, we will just go ahead and just choose the default version because it might work in most cases. So once you have everything selected here, just do next. Here you can select to have either a paper server, a vanilla server, a modpack compatible server, and here we have Fabric, Neoforge, and Forge servers. So we'll just use paper here, this is for plugin, this is just for normal Minecraft, and the rest is for mods. So here we'll just choose paper for plugins. So I'll do select paper, here we have to go ahead and scroll down, here we have playing plus hosting, this is if you play the game on your device which you're hosting, and this is basically only if you're hosting by itself and you have a different computer playing the game or something. So here we'll just do one of these, but this one is just better in most cases. So you can choose. And here we can do continue. Now we can do a couple things. We can go ahead and choose our Minecraft version. This chooses always the latest version, but in this case we can just go ahead and choose like this one for example, 1.20.10. It might say geyser compatible so we can play on Bedrock as well and Java. We'll just click this for example and just select the latest one here. Okay. So once we have this here, 
we can go ahead and close this. We have our version here. For the seed, you can choose a seed if you want, and the world type, you can choose a different world as well. In this case, we also have import existing world. This will take worlds from your Minecraft instance here, and you can host them as well. If you want to do this, you can do this as well. But here, I'll just make a new world here, and just do next. Here, we can name our server, so it can be anything. I'll just name it BNB, there you go. Here, we can go ahead and just do a couple things. We can change our save location for the server itself. This is where your files will be if you want. And this is our RAM here. So here we can put less RAM or more RAM or too much RAM. But if you have a green thing here, just select it around here and it should be good for you. And here we can do is just do next. And this is our current things here. You can either choose to have anonymous usage tracking or not. I'll keep it on, but you can turn it off if you want. And here we can do launch server. Here, what you want to do is do show console. So at least you know what's going on with your current install. And it might take a little while, so we'll just wait a bit. But this is something you can do just to see that we have things going on in the background. Okay, so basically this is our Minecraft link that we add into Minecraft to join. This is what happens when we use play.gg and you can change it in some cases, but this is the one caveat here. You will have to use a link that looks like this. If you want to use a custom domain, you could. If you want to use like a redirect or something, this is something completely like separate here, but this is the link we'll be using to join in Minecraft. So in this case, we'll just do continue to dashboard. And here we have this nice looking dashboard here with a bunch of information. So here we have our usage here, classic. Here we have our players. Here we can stop, restart, or kill our server. Here we have our console. Here it is. And we can add some commands here. So time set noon, for example. And now the time changed in the world. Here is our players again. Here we can make backups if we want. So that is backups if you want to do so. Here we have scheduler. Here we can do some tasks, automated tasks if you want. And here is our settings. So if you want to change some things, like the RAM again, you can go ahead and change things here as well. So yeah, this is this thing here. One thing here is if you quit this, you will see that we have our server here and you can just click on this and it will open up your server. Okay. So now what you want to do here is try out your server. So here we have Minecraft. So I will just open up Minecraft and we'll be able to see if we can join it on our computer. And then we'll quickly see if other people can join. So here we have our latest release here. This is the same version. Now if you want to join on different versions or do something, you can get something like VR version or something. And then you'll be able to have different versions. This is like something to do with plugins, so you can check out sites like Modern, for example, and you'll be able to get plugins for your server, because we chose paper in this case, so paper plugins, bucket plugins. But if you have something like Fabric, you'll have to get Fabric mods for your server. So yeah, here we just have our Minecraft instance here. It's opening, and this will give us Minecraft. Here, this is the first step. Now we have Squid servers. Remember this link here? Just go ahead and copy it. You can just click on it and then copy it. And here you can go back to Minecraft, go to multiplayer, and you can just go ahead and just add a server if you want. I will just name it name. You can call it anything. And it should just show up here. Here it is. And if you want to remove this here, you can do so by just going to settings and changing the MOTD. Okay. So let's say that we want to join our server. We'll just click this. And it will just go ahead and load up the server for us. I'll put this here. And we just have to wait. There you go. Here we have one player. So we are currently online. And this is our player. So we can kick ourselves. We can make ourselves operator. Why not? Yep. And you can do other things as well. But here we are now operator. So we can just do slash game mode creative classic. There you go. And this is us joining on our own computer. But if we go ahead and just go back to our web browser here and go to like Minecraft server status, for example, 
here we have some websites that will just go ahead and show us some status. So if I go on this one, for example, and we just paste in our link and we just submit, we should see that we have information. Here we have one player, which is ourselves, which is joining on this server here. So if this website can see our server, anyone in the whole entire world can see our server as well. So yeah, that is our server here and it works. So we're just hosting a server. We did not do any port forwarding, but we can still access the server outside. So yeah, that is how we make a Minecraft server using Squid server. So yeah, if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye.